The hop hatchback has evolved over the years into a very different animal compared to the one that was invented by Volkswagen almost half a century ago. Nowadays, it's a highly sophisticated machine that's as practical as it is quick. And be in no doubt, these three are very quick indeed. Our current king is the brilliant Honda Civic Type R, tested here in marginally more civilized Sportline trim, which means it goes without the big rear wing, but still has the same chassis and still has the same potent two liter turbocharged engine. But looking to outpunch it here are the Focus ST Edition from Ford's performance division and Cupra's feisty new Leon TSI. They each cost within 400 quid of one another at 35 and a bit grand. And although the Civic is the most powerful and lightest, the Cupra has some very trick electronics up its sleeve, while the ST Edition has tweaked suspension and a mighty set of brakes to help make it go faster. How fast? Well, we went to the Bedford Autodrome West Circuit to find out. It really doesn't matter how many times you drive this FKA Civic Type R. Every time you get in it, it feels fabulous. In fact, possibly on this track, more fabulous than ever before. It's just... It's so well sorted, it's so quick. It feels like such a high quality piece of kit, Pacific Type R. No, it doesn't make that nice a noise, but we'll forgive it that because just about everything else it does, it's just knockout, it really is. Brakes, steering, gear change. This gear change is epic, really is good. You get an auto blip on the downshifts as well. It's the chassis. The chassis in this car is defining. It really is. The Cupra and the Focus have both arguably got more trick things going on at their front end. But I don't care. The combination of weight, agility, turn in response, balance mid corner, everything the Civic does on the move, it does brilliantly. And it doesn't matter whether you're in 150 grand's worth of SUV with a million horsepower or a similarly powered, similarly priced hot hatchback. This thing takes care of everything, usually. This is gonna be a right old dust up between these two, I predict. The Cupra. Leon TSI is, it's a Golf GTI Club Sport with a different name, a different styling. And there is not a lot wrong with that. Uh, Cooper go their own way when it comes to the nuances of the software, as far as the diff is concerned, as far as the gearbox is concerned, but it's still fundamentally a seven speed DSG. You've still got an E-diff at the front. You've still got the same 296 horsepower, so a little bit more than the Focus. Weight-wise, they're very similar, these two. And kind of in terms of personality, they're quite similar too, because this thing is as, as focused, forget the, forget the pun, this thing is as focused as a Cooper gets at the moment. And it is, you know, it's pretty fruity. It, it, it's, it's alive, it's a proper senior hot hatch. I actually wish it was a little bit fruitier still, a little bit noisier, a little bit larrier, a little bit more ballsy, if you like. Because it is, it's very quick and it's, it's very good, and it's very precise, but it's maybe a little bit too sensible for its own good, but it is quick. There is no question about that. I, to the point that I don't know which is gonna be quicker between this and the Focus. I'm gonna have a little toodle in the Focus next, just to get it warmed up and see what that's like. But I don't know, I predict it could all come down to the gearbox. The gearbox in this is fantastically quick. And no matter how good I am in the manual, or anyone is in the manual Focus, you're never gonna beat a DSG, but let's see. I have to 
say I really do like this Focus ST edition. I like the Focus ST normally, but this thing feels quite a lot naughtier. It's got a brilliant front end on it. I mean, the traction and bite that you get from the front end of a normal Focus ST is deeply impressive. Yes, there's a fair bit of torque steer that you have to put up with, but that doesn't really come into, doesn't really matter much upon this track because it's so smooth. You don't have any bumps to deal with. On, on, a, on a B road, it's a, it's a slightly different thing, but on this track, the torque steer doesn't, doesn't become a factor. What does is the stopping power, the extra stopping power this thing's got, which is immense. The extra bite on turning and then there, mid corner, right on the point at which most powerful front wheel drive cars will start to wash wide. This thing, when you get on the power, just digs in, bites. <laughs> It actually tucks in, and so you can just drive this car on the front end the whole way around the lap. It's really good, really, really good. Lovely steering feel, and it sounds pretty fruity as well, as you can hear. That's a good noise, that is a good noise, we like that. I think this thing's gonna give the Civic a hard time and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna show the Cooper the way home to be honest. It feels properly rapid does this car and it's enjoyable it's lit it's alive good seats good manual gear change it's not as good as a Civic's gear change and it's not as fast as the Cooper's DSG but it's a damn good gearbox, it's better than I thought, even though it feels a little bit rubbery, it's quick. This car is quick. How quick? Mm, don't know, let's find out. So the Cupra is quite good, but not quite good enough. The Focus turns out to be a right weapon on a track, especially under brakes, but is still not quite sharp enough to undo the mighty Honda. And the Type R, well, it's the Type R, so it beats anything and everything that stands in its way. These two included. It remains the best and fastest hot hatch money can buy, and they say the next version due in 2022 is even better still. Watch this space.